if you were in Tennessee today in any of our 95 counties and you were driving along the highway or a country road, you probably would see some young girls out playing basketball. Their dream would be to be a part of the Lady Vols, to go to UT. They've watched this team. They've probably been to a game or two. They've gotten to know a little bit about the players. They've heard how these gals compete and get scholarships. And they're watching, they're watching what these women achieve. And they're dreaming that one day they just might be a part of that team. And whether it is young girls who are on the tennis court, or maybe they're out playing golf, or they're running splits, getting ready to compete in a fall cross country season because they want to compete on a college team. Now, Title IX for 50 years has said it's a level playing field, that you've got women's sports and you've got men's sports. And the Biden administration has decided they're going to erase, erase women's sports. Indeed, they want to erase the word woman. And if they get their way in changing Title IX, you're going to end up with a team of men and a team of former men. That's what you're going to have. And it is women that are going to be sidelined and left without the opportunity to learn how to compete, to learn how to win, to learn how to handle adversity and hardship. They're not going to have that opportunity to learn how to be coached. So this is why it is so important that we keep Title IX. I've been working on a resolution, indeed have a resolution, to honor Title IX. Interestingly enough, the Democrats have decided they want to slow walk. Slow walk this. It is appropriate that we honor Title IX and the anniversary, the 50th anniversary, and that we honor the women who broke barriers that caused Title IX to come about and the female champions that have benefited from Title IX and from all of those early trailblazers.